Hello, this is Kevin with Earthway Experience and I uh, want to share with you a little bit uh, of the outside here. Uh, it's the end of January. So now we're up to a balmy minus 25 degrees Celsius. It was about 27 this morning. Uh, I'm going to put a little formula here, uh, here somewhere for you guys to just to get in the ballpark if you don't know what Celsius and uh, uh, Fahrenheit conversion. But uh, I don't know if you hear that. I think you will uh, with the microphone pointed that way. But we have a little car traffic noise. But they're building a bypass for my little town. <laughs> I don't know why. But there must be a bigger reason because it's such a small town but uh, they're gonna build a bypass and, and that car noise here this time next year is gonna be gone in the winter time we had a, a few inches of snow last week maybe six inches of snow and uh, just really really nice got a nice cover of snow on everything and we've had, uh, back in December, we had had some good snow. And this is, I just looked at the clock here before I came out. It's uh, 11 o'clock. And uh, you can see that's as high as the sun ever gets uh, this time of year. And uh, so last night we had a full moon. And with the snow... It, it was, it was, you could almost, you could say, read a book outside. This is a storage building I, I built. Uh, I think you've seen it before in the other videos. I have some windows there, and I actually have about eight windows uh, over in the kitchen. And uh, next year we're going to start a greenhouse. And these I'm going to walk up and show you a little closer. I bought three more of these. They're called spark. Spark means kick. And you lay these runners are down on the ground. I'll go ahead and tip one over here. And these are handles. And uh, you hold on and you put your foot on the top of the runner and uh, out in the ice, out on the snow. Even in town, the roads are icy, and you kick, and it's really quite fun. If you go out ice fishing or something, that you got a place to sit. I have a salt, salt stone here for the the deer and the the rabbit and that. And uh, stand back here a little bit. I'm gonna make a little circle but if you look here in the snow it's like a an old wagon wheel and this is the center of the wheel and going out in all directions are deer tracks and they're drawn into the salt I was here about a week ago brought up a bed with a friend and we walked out here and uh, it's kind of fun you can see aging tracks uh, so you can kind of see generally our tracks but it's a fox that has come in on this uh, our trail okay I'm following this fox track and uh, this is beyond where I've been walking, but you can see he was coming this way, and he made a sharp, abrupt turn, and plunk. So he smelt, heard a little mouse, and uh, hunted it. Did he get it? I don't know. But now you see my tracks there too. Here we are now, out on Cillian, uh, the lake itself. And back over here is uh, the cabin. We're gonna kind of do a little circle here. Uh, oh, there we go. Shade this right.
right back over here. Don't know if you can see it. There's a little steeple there, but uh, that's uh, the church on uh, the island called Soleran. It's uh, one of the biggest islands, probably the biggest island here in Sillian. And uh, they actually found some Viking uh, remains there on Soleran. And as we come around here, right across the way is uh, the village of Nusnes, and uh, it's where they make the Dala Hest, Dala, Darlana, the valley, Darlana, the valleys, but the Dala Hest is the valley horse, and it's become a Sweden symbol, it's a horse, and they hand carve it and hand paint it, and I'll uh, put a picture up of one here, but uh, they make them over here in Nusnes. And as we come around uh, up this way is uh, the town of Mora itself and uh, beyond um, Solaran and quite a few miles, uh, 30 miles, 50 kilometers, uh, this is Lexand where I live. But uh, right now I'm actually standing on the lake on the ice and uh, they haven't done it this year. Um, but they usually have a, a nice path out here on the lake and so that's why I want to get a four-wheeler and a small plow and I can come out here and and help the the village uh, plow and then we take the spark out here and uh, I mean look at just beautiful beautiful flat ice bring a, a couple of 55 gallon barrels out here and uh, have a nice fire going out here so when you want to come and warm up we can come and warm up be able to take the spark out and have some nice trails out there do a little ice fishing and uh, cross-country skiing snowshoeing but it's just just wonderful here <laughs> I love the winter mm -hmm.